Hello, Riverwood Church. <laughs> Hi, Mom. <laughs> I'm Pastor Paul Pars, and I approve this interruption because this Sunday is Mother's Day. I have um, Deb Pranky with me, too. Deb's here for a couple of reasons. Uh, Deb herself is a mother and uh, also a, a bereaved daughter who you lost your mother. Uh, when was it this year? Uh, May 17th. May 17th. Or not, sorry, March 17th. Uh, March 17th, yeah. two, about two yeah. months ago. Yeah. And so this Sunday, uh, it's it's part of our cel it's a celebration Sunday for us. We're going to celebrate our mothers and honor them, honor their memory, and uh, we'll have a special testimony from uh, one daughter uh, about her mother. Uh, and then we'll also be it's a celebration Sunday. We'll be celebrating the Lord's Supper, and uh, then uh, we're also going to talk a little more about some of the calling God has given to us to go into all the world, to reach the world, the, our global outreach. And now. I have right here the world. I'm holding the hand, world in my hands. Well, of course, I can't do that. God does. But Deb and I have the world in our hearts. And, and God, for all of us, that's what God uh, wants because he says to go into all the world and preach the gospel. And one of the things that's happened uh, in our world is that's a bit easier now because the world has come to us. One of the things we'll do as part of our Celebration Sunday service is uh, Deb will give us an update about uh, Greg and Kelly Mott, our mm -hmm. missionaries of the month, who, who work uh, in Little Earth uh, in Minneapolis, which is the largest urban uh, Native American reservation in the country. And we'll also uh, highlight our, our, our Riverwood focus on um, ministry to Afghans in Minnesota. The world's come to us. As, as you know, since the Taliban fell um, uh, in August, uh, another 300 or so families of Afghans have come to Minnesota, plus the ones that are already here that we have had some relationships with. So uh, this, is, uh, this is our ministry focus that we are working on as a congregation uh, to partner with From Scattered to Gather, which is a ministry up in the cities that is working among the Afghans and working with Zomaya as one of our partners in that. And so anyways, on Thursday, May 26th, 6.30 to 8.30, we're doing a Zoom Afghan Culture 101 training. And we hope that all of you will be part of that because uh, that will be, gave us some good orientation and understanding of the people that God is calling us to, to bring the love of Jesus and the good news of the gospel to. One more thing, uh, bear with me, but there is one mother uh, I want to highlight. Her name is Razia. Razia is an Afghan Woman, she's the wife of Mirwaz. She's the mother of uh, Katara, and she's a sister-in-law of Zulmai Wudad, who our, our former missionary friend, who many of us know. Well, she is in a refugee camp in Abu Dhabi, and uh, Colleen and I got to visit with her very briefly back in January. Well, Razia has breast cancer, and she um, uh, needs surgery, and but they keep delaying the surgery uh, there and. Uh, would you pray for her? Pray for her and her family. One, that she'll get the surgery ASAP to give her maximum health. And number two, that God will move for, for Mirwaz, uh, Razia, and their daughter, Katara, to come to Minnesota, where they will be powerful Christian uh, uh, partners in ministering and bringing the gospel to their Afghan neighbors that are here. Thanks for listening, and we look forward to seeing you Sunday.